hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I have something cute to show you how to make this cute booty it's for a baby boy and I'm going to use three colors to make this shoe and for this project what I need is three colors of the same yarn I'm using Merco Elite 50 and I'm using three colors the white the mustard and the gray color and this yarn is an acrylic yarn it's 100% anti pull acrylic so this is very smooth for a baby uh, the touch of it is very smooth and it's quite thick and it doesn't take so much time to finish so before I start, I just want to tell you that I'm happy that you're watching me. I hope you're doing great with your life. And before starting, I want to remind you, if you didn't subscribe yet to my channel, you can hit the subscribe button down there, it's in red. And put a like or a thumbs up for this video if you like it. Okay, so first I will start with the mustard color to make the sole of the booty so first I'm going to start with my top to this knot and insert my five millimeter hook crochet hook here and start with 12 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and 12 chains okay then I will chain an additional chain and here I will yarn over and inside the second chain from the hook I will insert my hook leaving two loops from the bottom and one loop from the upper part and here I'm going to pull my yarn I will have three loops around the hook here I will yarn over and pull through all three loops making a half double crochet so this will be our first row we'll work with half double crochets so now again yarn over and make another half double crochet in the same chain okay like this next I'm going to make one half double crochet in the next 10 chains so 10 double crochet half double crochets in total Okay, after finishing these 10 half double crochets, we still have one chain at the end and in this chain we're going to make 6 half double crochets all in the same chain from both sides. So what I'm going to do is I will make the first 3 half double crochets in this part like this. One, two. And three and the other three I will make them at the bottom so as you can see at the bottom we have two loops I'm going to insert my hook in one of these loops right here and I will make three half double crochets so these are will be six half double crochets in total so as you can see we can pull our yarn and secure the stitches next I will make one half double crochet at the bottom of each of the next 10 chains so we will have another 10 half double crochets from the other side like this I'll start with the first half double crochet right here as you can see we work six half double crochets in this chain in the next I'm inserting my hook and starting with one half double crochet 
and I will continue until I get 10 half double crochets in the middle of this sole. And finally in the first loop or in the first chain I'm going to make one additional half double crochet so at this end we'll have three half double crochets and at this end we'll have six half double crochets when we finished with these steps I will insert my hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch to finish off my first row and this is the first row next we will start by chaining one and in the first stitch I'm going to make two single crochets again in the second stitch I'm going to make two single crochets next I'm going to make one single crochet in each of the next three stitches so one two and three next I will make one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches one two three and four and then I will make one double crochet in each of the next three stitches one two and three and this point at this point we finished the 10 stitches in the middle of the sole so we reached the point where we have six half double crochets in the in the same chain so here what we're gonna do is work two double crochets in each stitch so we had six half double crochets when we finish this part we will get 12 double crochets two in each stitch Okay, when we are done, we will make one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Again, make one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Next, we will make three or one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And we will have the final single crochet or the half double crochet from the last row or the first row. So what we're gonna do is we will make two single crochets in this stitch. And finally, insert your hook and the first stitch and the stitch to finish off this row so as you can see you can tell that this is the front part of our booty and this is the back part so we still have one row to go to finish the sole of our shoe so this row will be all half double crochets chain one yarn over and one half double crochet in the first two stitches next we will make two half double crochets in the next stitch so this is an increase right here and then make one half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches so this is easy 
I will do them and get back. So, next I'm going to make two half double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. In the next stitch I'm going to make one half double crochet. Again in the next two half double crochets. One and two. Next one half double crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch two half double crochets. And here is the important part that you need to focus on. So at this point we reach the half or the middle of the sole. So at this point I'm not going to repeat my steps, instead I'm going to mirror my steps. So now that we've finished these two half double crochets, we will repeat the steps in the next stitch. So in the next stitch two half double crochets. In the next one half double crochet and the next two half double crochets one and two in the next one half double crochet and fine and finally two half double crochets and the next stitch now we will repeat the steps we did here so we're going to make one half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches Okay, after I've finished these 12 half double crochets, I still have one stitch to finish this row. In this stitch, I'm going to make two half double crochets, one and two, and finally, as usual, insert your hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch. And here we're done with the sole, chain one additional chain and pull your yarn and cut it. This is the sole of the shoe. Okay, as you can see, you can recognize that this sole looks bigger than this one. There's a reason for that. So, usually when we work with booties, we need to distinguish the bottom part from the side part. That's why we made the last row all half double crochets, because we need to leave out these two loops at the top and work in the side or the back side loop right here all around the sole so when we work in this in this part this sole will look exactly the same as this one so finish the sole and come back to start with the gray side of the shoe okay so now I've inserted two markers, crochet markers, to mark the stitches that I will work with the grey yarn in. So what I did exactly, this is the front side of the sole. So at this point where we begin our row, I've counted 11, 12, and the 13th stitch I've inserted a crochet marker at the back loop right here and from the other side I've counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 in the 10th stitch I've inserted my marker again in the back loop and the stitches in total are 23 stitches right here so now we're going to work with the gray yarn what I'm gonna do is I will flip this sole on the other side and as you can see this inclination determines the the foot that I'm working for the right or the left when you start working this will be the left foot like this one so here I need to invert the marking to the other side so this pair is for the left foot 
so you can mark it as I did right here but when you finish the left foot and you want to make the right foot you have to remove this pin for this marker count one two three and insert your marker right here and for this marker I'm going to remove it and count one two three and insert it right here so we've moved this marker three steps and this marker three steps so we still have 23 stitches at the back but we have the right foot and the left foot so now I'm going to insert my hook in this stitch keeping the marker and I will bring my gray yarn make a knot and insert it in this stitch next I will remove my marker and now chain one and make one single crochet in the first loop like this and continue working in the back loop and make one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the other side and the other marker So here I reached the other marker, I'm going to work the last single crochet in this row and remove my marker. And as you can see and notice that the sole is now distinguished from the side of the shoe like this. We have a 90 degrees angle. Now as you can see we have the right side and the left side sorry this is so next i'm going to flip my work to the other side and chain one and make two single crochets in the first stitch and then i will make one single crochet in each of the next 21 stitches leaving the last stitch so we can make two single crochets in the last stitch so finish this and make two single crochets in the last stitch and I'll come back to you in row number three I'll flip my work again and chain one and make one single crochet in each stitch so we don't make any increases in this row we just make one single crochet in each stitch finish this row and come back in row number four I'm going to increase again at the side so the first stitch we're making two single crochets and in the last stitch we will make two single crochets again like row number two And now in row number five, I'm going to flip my work and and in row number five, I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch without increasing like row number three and row number one. So finish this one and come back. So now what I have is five rows. I still need to make two more rows to finish the work with the gray yarn. So row number six and no and so row, row number six and row number seven will be exactly like row number five. So you only need to make one single crochet in each stitch. It's time to make the white part. This part is made separately and then connected to the sole. So as usual we're going to take the yarn in this case it's the white yarn and I'm going to make a knot 
and here you can make a magic circle to work in it so right here I'm going to make a magic circle and I'm going to make a chain and then I'm making I will make six single crochet one two three four five okay so in the next or the second row I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to chain one sorry okay chain one and make two double crochets in each stitch so we'll have 12 double crochets at the end of this row Now I'm going to flip my work once again and start with row number 3, I will chain 1 and I will make 2 double crochets in the first stitch and 1 double crochet in the next. So we're going to repeat these steps 3 times, so 1, 2, 1, 1. Two and one and now that we've reached the middle or the center we need to continue working like a mirror so I will repeat the steps but it's like I'm flipping my work to the other side so in the next stitch I will make one double crochet and the next stitch will be two double crochets and I will repeat these two steps two more times one one two one and finally one and two so now I need to start with row number 4 ok so row number 4 is very easy what we are gonna do is we will work we will make one chain yarn over and in the first two stitches I'm going to make one double crochet in each stitch so here we're going to increase in the single stitches that means in the stitches that we made one double crochet we're going to increase and make two double crochets and in these two stitches where we increase in the last row we're going to work one double crochet with one double crochet so I will show you now so here I've made one double crochet in each stitch at the beginning and I've reached this single stitch and I'm going to make two double crochets in this stitch and I will repeat my steps, these steps to the end Okay, so after I finish this row, I need to do one last step and in this stitch right here, I'm going to make another double crochet. Why is that? Because if you count the stitches, the three stitches right here, you'll have 23 stitches and in addition, we have one right here, I'm going to connect the white part 
from this point to this point so we'll have 25 stitches and since we have 24 stitches in total in the row number four I'm going to add one stitch right here to have 25 stitches to connect to the shoe so I need to do one more one more row and So it's very easy. I'm going to chain one and work one double crochet in each stitch and we will be done. So finish these steps and come back. So now that I'm done with the white part, you can see that it looks exactly like this one. What I need to do is take this part and From the right side, I'm going to connect these two stitches, this stitch and the one that we've worked before with the gray, with the gray yarn. So right here, I've inserted my hook in both loops or stitches and what I'm gonna do is pull this loop through both stitches like this. and. I'm going to pull my yarn and here I will start connecting the, the, the two parts together. Insert your hook again in both stitches and make a single crochet and make sure that you are working in the right stitches. Again, in the second stitch insert your hook and in the second loop right here as you can see I'm leaving both loops from the other side as I did before and pull through and make a single crochet I will show you one more time insert your hook in the next stitch and in the next loop from the sole pull your yarn and make a single crochet so finish all the stitches until you reach this stitch it should be the last stitch you will work in right here and come back to finish off the shoe or the booty. So this is the final look after attaching the white part with the sole. So now we need to sew the side parts right here. So this is the first part, don't forget to weave in your ends and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side right here and this is the booty and this is the shoe after I finished sewing so I just need to do one last thing So grab your mustard colored yarn and make a knot and this will be very easy. Chain 16, one, Next, I'm going to chain one and single crochet in the second chain from the hook and make one single crochet in each stitch. So, this is simple 16 single crochets, two rows, and you're done.
Okay, so now I will sew this stripe right here and add the bottom and I'm done.